Hello, everybody, and welcome to our numbers video for this week. So what we'll do is we'll go over our first numbers for the week of January. I don't know how much Vomp will have, but I'm sure we might have some numbers. Mm -hmm. I'll have my numbers, and Dad will have his as always. So let's start out with 2023 numbers You don't so send far. out, right? You guys uh, don't send start, out emails. I talked to Joe just at uh, Vomp World Headquarters, um, and... <laughs> He said that he is sending out next week. Got it. Everybody settled back in, hopefully, and gone through their pile of emails, deleted out <laughs> what wasn't necessary, and now we'll hit them second week in. So um, anyway, so without without sending out, we had uh, 17 warm responses, mm. Good. five auditions, mm -hmm. and a total of uh, six jobs. So wait, six. Well, let me do, let me count them here because that'll help us. So we got three, three return. I think they were returning stuff uh, jobs for Jennifer Keister, returning clients three, three times, three projects. So that's three. And that's three. Help us with our math. Then we had Chris Marsden, four. With one, his was a returning client. So four returning clients. Yep. I think it's just five. So then Kimberly Young. With a returning client. Wow. All, All returning, returning This clients. is going to be the year of the returning client, let's I think. Let's hope so. Yeah. Those are the greatest. Those are the best. I, I think. And let's, I, let's come I, back and talk about that yeah, um, I had, after our numbers. I recurring. had a recurring client, too. Nice. Returning client. That was the only job I had for direct email marketing this week. So 40 bucks there. <laughs> Boom. Then I got a job on Upwork, which <clears> is <throat> my first contract I'm doing hourly. Oh, nice. So I'm... Worth 60 bucks an hour. No nice. big deal. Of course you are. Some people might think I'm less. Some people might think I'm more. But they don't matter. Um, so 10 scripts were sent to me this week for um, some of them were like 500 words. And I told the person I could get whatever ones were 500 words done in a half an hour. And then the ones that are 900 to 1,000 words I could do in an hour. So you do the math. 500 is half. So I got $30 for... Each, let me say that again, six of them were $30 each. And then four of those were, it took me about an hour to do each of them. So that was $420. And then there's four more sections of 10. There's, they had, I think they have 50 e-learning modules, wow. which is be nice. And just to, just to interrupt for a second, I remember when I, when, when I was first starting out and I would I would get some of those and maybe they weren't the greatest pay, but I had something to do the next day. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you just feel like I'm making money today. Yeah. And especially when you get like 50 of them. Get and something you to work kinda, on. Yeah. And then if, then if you're working and all of a sudden it almost seems like then, oh, I won that audition. Cause you're not really yeah. thinking about it. And then, oh, another audition came in and, oh, I want a job and, oh, a direct email. Oh, and I got that Upwork thing. It just seems like the ball mm -hmm. gets rolling then. Yeah, and, and I'm going great guns on Fiverr. I got an $8 job and a $4 job. <laughs> That's better than zero, it though, like you had been doing. Yeah, and then I did a couple hours of editing for you for a grand total of $592. I did adjust my goals for this year, 2023. I want to make $750 a week. But I will say that I'm happy with 592 because last year, January, I got sick. I was getting a new email. Lots of stuff was happening. And I made $283 in the month of January. So I'm already surpassing that. You bet. So I'm glad about that. Mm -hmm. I had two warm responses. I only sent out one day this week. Um, so yeah, that's all my numbers. Yeah, and, and just to that point of you were only about $150 under what your goal was. But that was eight. almost $100 more than my month. What, what you did normally. And it was quite a bit more than what you did last year at this point. And I just looked back because I traditionally have to do a lot of talking to myself in January. You know how you have to do that. Those of you who are watching and our voiceover talent. Vomp does. Vomp has to do that <laughs> where it takes a while to get things geared up in January. It seems like January is traditionally my worst month. And it's right after Christmas, right after New Year's, and you're ready to go. You're starting out from zero. 
And it just seems like it takes the train some time to get going. E-learning, other corporate jobs, commercial, just seems like it takes some time. And I'll just give you these, and this will be a lot of numbers, but you can always listen back. In 2018, I made $16,937. That was my fourth lowest of the month. In 2019, I made $17,663. That was my fourth lowest. But then in 2020, 2021, and 2022, I won't give you the numbers and bore you with that, but they were all my lowest month of the year. The last three years, January has been my lowest month of the year. So it's typically one of the lowest and the last three, it's been the lowest. Point being is I have to just talk to myself because I always feel like at the, I made $331,000 last year and you start out slow in January and you say, see, I don't have a business anymore. I'm no good. I must, you know, I must have, you know, my run is over, which doesn't mean you don't have to work at things and stuff like that, but you just have to relax and your voiceover business might take a little bit of time to work up. You got, you did better than last year, which is a great sign. Wasn't going to be hard, but yeah. yeah. Right. But mm -hmm. the point being is you did better than last year. And those are the types of things you have to work on because January might be a tough month. Mm -hmm. You might say, why did I ever say $750 a week? No. Well, Stick in with February it. through whatever the rest of the year it it hopefully will will kick up yeah so um for my month uh, excuse me for my week um this was a four-day week for me i took monday off so fiverr was two thousand fifty six dollars uh, direct email marketing was two thousand four hundred twenty two dollars so a pretty slow week at four thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars four thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars i didn't have i had a few auditions and no new clients so back to recurring, um, I was thinking about, you know, that song, Grown Up Christmas List, mm -hmm. No More Wars to Tear Us Apart, da 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 da, da all that. Um, I was thinking that my grown up Christmas list for the Vomp people is that they would get clients, but they'd get recurring clients. Yes. That's <laughs> ours too. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, and that's why we want people to make sure they tell us about recurring clients because that's what is encouraging to people. And I know Chris has got a handful of recurring clients. Chris Marston, he's got a handful of recur recurring clients. Well, uh, he has a recurring client that recur comes by. Not a handful yeah, of, no, no, recurring, yeah, right, of recurring clients. A handful yeah. of jobs from, from a recurring, recurring client. Clear, yep. Yeah. And I... Uh, and yeah, so does yeah, Jennifer yeah. Keister. And Jennifer White, I think, does, right? She she has had some recurring... Yep. yep. And then Kimberly client. Young as well. And there's yep. other people on the list, but the people that we report yep. all have had recurring jobs. Tyler Boss those. just booked one yep. last week. That's like, going to be one for each month. Yeah. That's recurring. That's why, I mean, like... I had 4,000, well, $2,422 from direct email marketing clients. Those are all recurring clients because yep. I don't ever mention anything other than my new clients. So that's what you're shooting for is you're shooting mm -hmm. for, you know, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, $4,000 a week with recurring clients yep. and then picking up a new one every once in a while. Yep. And that's why when we, when somebody posts, uh, so-and-so got a recurring client, a job from a recurring client, I always say gold. Yep. Because those recurring clients, they start to like you. You start to know them better. You start to have a relationship with you them. You might not have to audition for a job. They so might just much. send it your yeah. way. That's yeah. Well, that... and like we talked about, Chris, he's been with us for a while mm -hmm. now. And he isn't uh, doing the uh, ultimate amount that you can do for a VO Marketing Pro. So it doesn't mean that you have to be the, the highest top level. The top level. Because mm -hmm. we have Jennifer Keister is not on the top level either. And so, but they're bringing it in with one client. And that's why what you said is exactly what Joe and I talk about. And we talk about, I guess, as a whole group of people that are a part of VO Marketing Pro is, is it sure would be nice to give everybody just one recurring client, at least one, and just have them keep coming back and back to each person. Because I think that those... Those are nice because you just all of a sudden get something in your inbox and then you start that relationship and you've seen that there's even, you know, some of the people that you've worked with, you've worked with for years and you've got a friendship, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. And um, we like to see those and it's encouraging because it keeps keeps on coming back. So wouldn't you one, say one job is our one one off jobs are great, too, but I really like posting the recurring ones. They might be boring to other people, but they're definitely not boring if they're coming to you and you're it's filling your bank. So. Wouldn't you say that, though, of those people that you talked about, I mean, Chris has been with us for a long time. Jennifer's been with us for a long time. Mm -hmm. 
And so it takes time. It's, it's taken time for them. Sure, they're in the lowest. Yep. One of the, they're not in the highest, I should say. I don't know exactly where yeah, they're, they're, no, but they're not, yeah. they're, they're not maybe the personal care, which doesn't take anything away from the personal care. Nope. The personal care gets your emails out there quicker and stuff like that, where these people have had to wait maybe a little bit longer. Well, and, more, not, not quicker. We don't, we don't, it's not about quickness. It's about more, the personal, uh, the personal assistant is more. Easy. I guess, yeah, that, that would. Maybe that sure would maybe fast so track you by yeah. getting more emails out there yes. than other people, more yes. chances. Yep. There's a chance that you could get jobs quicker. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that those people have stayed around for a yep. long time. The length of time is seems to be more important than the amount of emails sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sure. And especially if they get a warm response, maybe you only have 20 warm responses because you're only sending out 100 emails a month. Yep. But if you stay in front of those, yep. those people all of a sudden become a client. You service them well. They become a recurring client. And like I had four regular clients that I do business with, three of them I've done business with for years, and they amount to almost $80,000, four mm -hmm. clients. And so those are wow. recurring clients. That's the gold that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's fun because, you know, you'll, you'll shoot them an email and, and it'll just be like talking to a friend exactly. or yeah. they'll give you a call on the phone. Hey, Todd, are you able to do this? And it's like you said, no auditioning. Mm -hmm. They like you, they have got you in the system. And so they just keep using you. So yeah. Gold. Yep. There it is. Gold. Yeah. All right. Hey, and by the way, I've got these sheets. Yeah. We're going to share my 2022 VO income, all the specifics and yours. And mm -hmm. then we're maybe going to have a separate uh, breakdown, breakdown of my year by year going from 2011 all the way to 2022 because I think it can be kind of instructive for people. You can see what I've done, some of the decisions I've made, and the three of us can maybe talk. We'll be, maybe have a separate video yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Bonus and video. We'll, we'll talk yeah. about my years that I've been in, the 12 years that I've been in voiceover, what I've made, how I've made it, decisions we've made together and stuff like that. We'll have more time for that too because... Dun, da, da, da. Another oh, big announcement. Yeah. Well, I've, I've breaking news. I've put in my two weeks notice to the a company that I was with for eight years. Um, I moved down to part time, very limited part, or very small amount of part time at the company. They were nice enough to let me do that as we were um, growing this business, um, VO Marketing Pro, and it just seems like it's the right time, and I'm looking forward to working full time. So the we're going to have needs your, the energy, two baby. Full two full-time full bompers yeah. at the global head. We still have to go there and have a, yeah, have a, tour. a tour of yeah. the global <laughs> headquarters. If you'll be impressed. It's yeah. just yeah. amazing. Yes. It's spacious. Yeah. It was, it, yeah. On a serious note, it is kind of amazing what two guys in a, in a uh, three seasons room can do. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it away. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you fun. for watching our video, our videos. Thank you for watching our numbers segment. Yeah. John, thanks for coming. Dad, thanks yeah. for bringing your stuff. Thanks for the Todd's tips. Mm -hmm. Check out our last video. That was our Todd's tips for this week. And then on Wednesday of next week, we will have the 40th episode. So we'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs>